Barbie Carbies. Throw another shrimp on the Carby. And there we go. Missed? Missed? I swear, why are you guys the fish people of Jill? Jill, are you gonna rip your face off and just be a Carby underneath? Is that what this is gonna be? Have I been carrying around a false Carby? Eh? Okay, so we've established that Carbies. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Carbies have less than 166 health. So that's good to know. Carbies. Okay, there we go. Up until that point, I wasn't sure if Carbies could hit me. But that guy just proved me wrong. I just did 140 damage to that stupid shit. I'm sorry, Carby. I punched you so hard there. That just, that was unfair. But yes, going back to the Hydras really quick. Hydras. You, it is not unheard of to have things grow back uh, their limbs because uh, people, we people, humans, can do it. We can cut off part of our liver to donate it to somebody else and the liver will grow back. It only does this once. That is why you can only donate your liver once. You cannot grow it back and continually donate livers. Otherwise, there would be absolutely no liver cancer at all because we would just completely cut off all of your liver, or at least all the parts that are filled with cancer or disease or whatever, or ruined because of your your burning alcoholism or whatever, we could cut it off and we could just stick on mine and it would grow back and mine would grow back and it, I could just do that forever. I could fill the entire populace with my liver if that was the case. And I'm just one person. But for some reason, it only does it once. Now, another example is crabs. Crabs can grow back their limbs if they pull them off or break them off or have them destroyed in battle or whatever. That's fine. However, you're talking about a head, the brain, and such a catastrophic damaging to your anatomy would not grow back. However, not only does the Hydra's head grow back, but another one comes up. So, just admitting that uh, one head would grow back. Jill, you did a massive 46 damage. 94. It's a blatant disregard. However, if this, let's just say this design worked. You could only cut off so many heads before the Hydra would grow back so many heads that it couldn't move. What if it had a hundred heads, and you cut them off, and it grew back two hundred? What if you did that again, and again, and again, and again? By the way, congratulations, Zane. Eventually, that Hydra would need to eat so much food to sustain, it, sustain itself that it could not function. It could not move to go get food. So, while the Hydra might be a terrifying enemy on most... Did I tell you to run? Ooh, there's a volcano. Can I get in there? That is a nice looking volcano, by the way. I don't think I... Wait a minute. Yes, I can. What am I doing? I'm a tit. I... I know I can get in there. I have the canoe. I am so used to not having the almighty canoe that I don't think I can get... I don't think I can get in there. But we will climb to the top of this volcano. Question. Does the Fire Fiend live at the top of the volcano, or does it live within the volcano? Because if it lives within the volcano, we might be in deep shit. See, now, if I, if I myself, was a fiend, one of the four elemental fiends, personally, if I was the Earth Fiend, I would live so far deep within the Earth that I would live next to the core of the Earth where humans could not reach me. Alright. Because I'm, I'm assuming, as the Earth, uh... Oh, nice. I wanted that wolf dead. As the Earth Fiend, I could go as far deep down into the Earth as I fucking wanted. Same if I was the Fire Fiend. If I was the Fire Fiend, even then, I could go even deeper. Because all volcanoes are, the only thing the volcanoes are, is they're just links to the Earth's core that have come all the way up. That lava doesn't just come from nothing. That lava comes with, within deep of the Earth's core. So technically, if I was the Fire Fiend or the Earth Fiend, I would go so far into the Earth that you could not humanly reach me. Hey, there we go. Convenient. Okay. 
Now you're getting a little bit silly. Now you're getting just a little bit silly. What is, can I ride my canoe in here? Ow! How much did that do? Not a lot. Ow, ow, ow! Ooh! Ooh! Did, do sphinxes have, okay. Let me put it this way. That head looks glued on. All right, second of all, second of all, it looks like it has some kind of panther body. It's got some kind of evil dragon wings and a scorpion's tail. Now, question. What would happen if we bred a sphinx with a chimera? Hmm? Would we get a... I think we would pollute that gene pool so thoroughly. <laughs> wow, you're not doing like anything. I love, I love how Gun is officially the god of all of the other party members. They all bow before his might. You know what, you know what Gun kind of reminds me of? Not me, not myself Gun, but this Gun. Can I, I know that, hold on, what's my... Oh no, it's it's enter, that's what it is. Okay, sorry. Bleh. Gun himself reminds me of Goku, in a way. From Dragon Ball Z, obviously. Because Gun is the favorite of the attacking people, the strongest, by far. Everyone else, even though they have their good qualities and their magical abilities and whatever, te their techniques, Gun, at the end of the day, is the strongest one. Ow, ow, ow. Hey, cool, it doesn't hurt me while I'm sitting here. I can just chill out in the lava. Ah, tasty. I like how the, I like how the volcano had staircase, had a staircase. Ow, 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 ow. Hold on, let's chill out for a second. No, yes. Oh, it's okay. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow. Aha, an even better staircase. Down we go. Ooh, a maze. No! Pearlisk, where's the basilisk or battlisk or whatever? Uh, what was I talking about? I was talking about something. Uh, Sphinx. Uh, Goku. That's that's what it was. Gun is a lot like Goku. Everyone wants to see him succeed because he's the trademark of this game. Us, well, personally, I think the Black Mage is the trademark of this game because he's so goddamn cute. He's just, he's derping. I'm sorry, he's he's got the very derpy look about him. He's not even looking in the same direction as everybody else. Everyone else has their eyes dead straight forward at their enemy. In a death stare. Not, not him. Not him by any means. Aha! Fire elemental. We are in the right area. I like how he has horns. Eat this. Haha. -ha. I'm doing something catastrophic to your chemistry. No. Can't do that. You see now, even if the ice was to get so close to him as to evaporate in, or to change form into water, I don't think he would evaporate quick enough. Unless he's at 700, 5,000 degrees. I don't know, if you took an ice ball and threw it at lava, would it melt and evaporate quick enough so that it wouldn't touch the lava? I don't think so. Would it cool down the lava at all? No. Well, by a minuscule, minuscule amount. I like how I'm being so scientific today. A silver helmet. Lovely. What is this? Oh, you're joking. You're yoking. You're joking, my... What? Dare I use fire three? Nah, no, wait, wait. Dare I use fire three? I don't know if I have the balls to use fire three on these guys. They're so smug, look at them. They remind me of, uh... They remind me of Loki from the Avenger movie lately. I have not seen the Avengers movie. I have not seen... I have not seen many movies at all. I'm not a big movie person, unfortunately. I have not seen... I haven't, I haven't actually gone to the theater and watched a movie in ages. And I mean ages, everybody. I think the... Let me think back. What was the last movie I ever... Don't you die on me, Zane, you little tit. What was the last movie I ever saw? Or that I have seen? Hmm. 
in theaters, that is. I've seen a lot of movies out of the theaters, but the last movie I actually saw in theaters might have been the remake of Nightmare on Elm Street. I'm pretty sure Zayn is going to die. I'm pretty sure that was the last movie I saw in theaters. Don't quote me on that. Well, technically, you can quote me on it. Don't think that that is the final true movie that I've seen. Oh, well. I, st I still need to watch a lot of things. I need to watch all the Indiana, Indiana Jones movies. I need to watch all the Star Wars movies. I need to watch all of the Lord of the Rings movies. I need to watch... Uh, I've seen a little bit of the first Spider-Man. I haven't seen any of the other Spider-Mans. I have not seen any of the, the newer Batman movies, which I've heard are really good. Uh, I'm just out of touch completely. Not the loot. Can I change these around? I, can I change the position so that the, the potions are at the top? <laughs> I don't think I can. Okay. In terms of health, I am not concerned at all about our health situation. I am concerned... Why did that... Okay. I'm concerned about our... Hey, look. No, not that. Look, we've got we've got 69 heals. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Ouch! That surprised me. Oh, why are you guys in here? You're weak as shit. Iguanas, you still frighten and terrify me, but I don't fear you at all. Well, actually, that's complete. I just said you frighten and fear me, but... Er, you frighten and terrify me, but I don't fear you at all. Yeah. You know, one thing that does frighten me, legitimately, is heights. I do not like heights. I am afraid of heights. I am not afraid of being strapped to something and looking over a, a big pit of height. I am afraid of my own balance. Because I know myself. I know my balance, and I know that it is shit. Oh shit, red gargoyles. My balance is absolutely terrible, at least from my perspective. Especially when I'm looking down into a pit of infinite, infinite death. No matter what I do, if I fall into this pit, I am going to die. Now, when I know that, and when I don't have anything to balance on, or to like grip me to life-giving land, then I am afraid of the heights. Which is why I am afraid of Oh, you're doing this. Which is why I'm afraid of, at work, I I have to go on a ladder to get something. I hate doing that. Because I know my balance, and my balance is terrible. By the way, Red Gargoyles, if you were smart, you would all use Fire 2 on me. You would cripple half my... No, you would, you would cripple almost all of my team. But you're not going to do that, because you're idiots. Oh, I just had to open my big fat mouth, didn't I? Ah, ooh, wait a minute. We might be able to live past this. Maybe. We've got both of our mages down. No! I would have to say that they were stupid, wouldn't I? I just had to say it. I just had to say it. If you guys were smart, you would all use fire too. And I think they've all used fire too. Oh, oh, lovely. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna finish this. Maybe. Ineffective. You cannot, you cannot restrain my attack. No, it is gun. And only gun. Zane is cured. What? Did you say so? Shit, we gotta run. <laughs> Shit. Come on. Just run. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, shit. I hate when this happens. It's a damn good thing I got all these heals. Okay, let's get out of here. We need to get out of this building. Aha, there we go. Ow, 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 Wow, that hurts. Or it looks like it does. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, no! 
Thank you. Thank you so much for just running away. La 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 la. I don't even care. I can just walk on a volcano. Like it's nothing. It is nothing. Piss nothing. Oh, it would be you guys. Oh, you would poison me. You know, I'm going to make this into a little bit of a challenge. Let's see if I can get back to the village like this. Let's just see. I will remain poisoned. Let's just see. Oh, wait. Poison doesn't affect me while I'm on a boat? Doesn't it? You know what? I'm going to kill both of you. Because you dared. You dared to get off some hits on me. Look at that. 205 damage. You're regretting that. Wherever you are. Hell, heaven, fishy, whatever. You're regretting that move of attacking me. Because if you had not attacked me, and if you, uh, no, if you had missed, I would have let you live. But it's because you dare, you dare to use your splash attack on me, which should be ineffective, have no effect, but your splash technique, Magikarp, has somehow gained power, and it hurts me a little bit.